again, everybody. Welcome back to Tokyo Wars. And welcome back to another match preview. I know it's deadline day, but, you know, we are forgetting. It feels weird, actually. It doesn't feel like there is actually a Premier League match tomorrow. Wolves are back in Premier League action and travelling to Old Trafford to, of course, take on Manchester United. It's been a strange old season for both teams, both sides having ups and downs. Uh, of course, a lot of pressure on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at the moment, but Manchester United are still very much in that top six race, as are Wolves, and both teams will be looking to start to create a gap in between the top six and the rest of the league and possibly even push towards the top four. We're going to be talking about Manchester United Wolves, team news uh, and, and transfers in today's video. But before we kick off, make sure you go and check out our channel partners over at One Football. Fantastic football app to go and check out. Uh, they've really helped out this channel. You could check out all your live football news, your live football scores and your transfer news on there. You could check out the team lineups when they're out and get live updates uh, throughout every match day on all games and uh, of course get all the information on those. So as I say, a link to download that is in the description down below. But Manchester United Wars, really interesting name. Uh, it's been a, well, of course, at the time of recording, the transfer window still has six hours left. Uh, but at this time of recording, any players that are signed from now won't be actually playing in tomorrow's game. They've had to have been registered by 12 p.m. today, I believe. Uh, so everything I'm going to be talking about is fairly relevant anyway. Uh, but Wolves transfer window for me, I am going to do another video on this uh, after the window shuts. Uh, but it's... It could have been a lot better, if I'm being honest. We've we made some good signings, but I'll, I'll leave the rest of that for that video there. And we're going to be talking about Wolves United today. Of course, played United twice recently in the FA Cup, uh, drawing to them earlier on in the season at home as well. Of course, Ruben Neves scoring a beautiful goal, uh, but two, uh, well, a nil-nil draw at uh, the Molyneux and then a loss in the FA Cup against them at Old Trafford. But it's a team that we've got a pretty decent record against over the last couple of years or so. Of course, beating them in the FA Cup last season, beating them at home in the league as well last season. Uh, so it's definitely a team that I, I believe is beatable. And Old Trafford would be a fantastic place to go and get three points. You just never know when United are going to turn up. Of course, um, they've finally got their man, Bruno Fernandes. The Portuguese midfielder has signed, them, uh, signed for Manchester United now. And uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer dropping huge hints that basically he is going to play a part in their match tomorrow. So it's going to be really interesting to see how he gets on. Uh, it's a big step up from the Portuguese league to the Premier League, but we've seen how well some of our boys have done and it'll be interesting to see as an outsider how Bruno Fernandes does as well. Pretty disappointed that we never really had a strong link to him. We never really went for him, but it'll be interesting to see, as I say, how he gets on at Manchester United. In regards to Wolves, of course, coming just off the back of a defeat to Liverpool, but we could take probably more positives out of that game than negatives, which is surprising, really, when you lose a game two goals to one. Um, but yeah, Wolves played well, created lots of chances. And I think with the, now the signing of Daniel Pedence, who should be in the squad tomorrow, it's going to be really interesting and to see how Nuno lines up and to see which options that we've got there as well. Willie Bolly and Diogo Jota, of course, are both fit. They should be in the squad for tomorrow as well. And it'll be interesting to see if either of those starts. Willie Bolly could easily come in. Uh, if we had to replace someone, I think it would be Dendonka and go back to almost the experiment that Wolves tried just before Bolly got injured with Bolly on the right and Sace on the left. Actually seemed to be working quite well. So I think we may uh, may see that. Of course, Ryan Bennett now is on his way out as well. Not confirmed at the time of recording, but looks like he's off to Leicester. So that's one less defender. And it looks like maybe Nuno sees Sace and Dendonka as centre-halves uh, throughout the rest of the season. But both of those can easily push up to a midfield role. I think that's one of the things that is key with this wall squad versatility and that's definitely what we've got in the likes of Daniel Pedence who can play across the front three Jota who can play across the front three he's obviously tried Adama a right wing back left wing striker Neto could play on either wing so we've got plenty of uh, rotation there Johnny could play either wing back as well so yeah, lots of options there for Wolves, um, and it all it will be interesting to see if Wolves do make any more transfers. But as I say, at the time of recording, this is uh, this is who who we've got. Um, Campana as well. It looks like he's been training. Of course, the Ecuador under twenty threes were out of their Olympics qualification, so he was allowed to fly back to England early and been training with the first team this week. And it looks like Leonardo Campana is a big shout to be in the squad tomorrow. So it'll be interesting. We might we may see him come on the pitch for his Wolves debut. How great would it be to see him possibly grab a goal over the next few weeks? If it's tomorrow, that'd be uh, that'd be beautiful as well. But Wolves as a whole, let's let's talk teams. Um, it will be very, very difficult to predict, but I'm going to go with one change from the team against Liverpool. I think Jota will stay on the bench, Pedence will start on the bench, but I'm going to go with Bolly to start. 
Uh, it'll be very, very interesting to see how he gets on. Uh, Willie Bolly, um, and obviously, obviously not really, you know, back in the day when players used to come back from injury, they'd have a little stint in the reserves, get their sharpness up a little bit, but Wolves have never really done that, not in their recent uh, recent months at least. I say that as Morgan Gibbs-White played in the uh, in the under-23s the other day, but um, Willie Bolly, it'll be interesting to see how he gets on straight back into the team if he is in the team. Looking at the league, Manchester United and Wolves, both level on points on 34 points, level with Spurs as well, sandwiched in between us and United in sixth place. Place. Uh, Manchester United's last five. Now, they lost to Burnley at home in their last game uh, in the Premier League. Of course, they've had two games since then. Um, so, it'll be interesting to see, are Manchester United going to be more match sharp than Wolves? Or are Wolves going to be more fresh? Because we haven't played in a week and a half. Of course, didn't have a midweek fixture. We weren't in the FA Cup as well. Whereas, Manchester United were in the FA Cup. Got a convincing victory over Tranmere. And then, of course, beat Manchester City midweek with 10 men. But were, obviously, knocked out of the Carabao Cup. So, Wolves come into this one probably a little bit fresher. But are Manchester United going to have that little bit more match sharpness? Are they going to get have a bit more momentum and are they always, always going to have that almost bounce of morale uh, in the sign of Bruno Fernandes there's been some horrible news obviously going around with their, their CEO Ed Woodward with the fans there's possibly even a protest going on tomorrow so it'll be interesting to see what happens on that front and how the, the toxic fan base almost or part of the fan base it's toxic at the moment how that will affect the team but yeah you look at that their three defeats have been to Liverpool Arsenal and Burnley Beaten Norwich quite convincingly and actually beaten Burnley just after Christmas away from home as well. So they're really mixed. And as, as I say with Manchester United, they haven't really got any real consistency. Probably similar with Wolves really. But Wolves, you know, they find it hard to lose games. You know, Wolves give games, uh, teams and big teams, really, really good matches. And it'll be interesting to see really. Both these teams are quite counter-attacking. See who draws blood first. So if I have to, I'm going to go with a Wolves win. Prediction of 2-1, as always. But I'm going to Old Trafford tomorrow. Really, really looking forward to it. I went when we drew against them one goal each when Jamatini obviously scored uh, away from home last season. So, yeah, looking forward to this one. 2 on walls. Let me know your thoughts, your predictions in the comment section down below. As I say, tomorrow morning, probably, when the transfer window is shut, I'll do a roundup of all walls transfers in and out. But until next time, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the, uh, the rest of your weekend. Fingers crossed for three points for walls. And until next time, I'll see you all very, very soon.